die. Is this better? To die like this? Or become some Natiba's dinner on the journey to the Oasis? What should I do? Hey, stop thinking so negatively. What's going on? Angel! I'm so sorry about this. I wasn't actually going to jump. How embarrassing. What's the matter? Angel, have you ever been in love? What? L love? I... I was in love once. Truly in love. There was no storm we could not weather as long as we had each other. Along our journey, we were attacked by a Natiba, somewhere in the desert on the way to Zion. He was just trying to protect me, but... Oh. His corpse, it... It sunk into the depths of the oasis. Like a fool, I ran away alone, and... I left him there. There, in the cold water. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done what I did. The guilt eats away at me day after day. I couldn't do anything else but cry and cry. Leaving Zion, it was just too dangerous to imagine. You do what anyone else does. You find a way to make it on your own. Well, that's what I thought at the time, too. But what's the point in living anymore if I can't have him? The memory stick might be damaged. It was in the water for a long time. It's all right. Even if the memories really are lost. If I just had something to remember him by. I'll search near the oasis. Really? I can't believe it. Thank you. If you can do that for me, I'll forever be in your debt. Thank you so much. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to find him. Don't get your hopes up. Noise. Renovating, perhaps? You can't just barge in like this. The store is closed. Oh, Angel, uh, wh what are you doing here? I heard some noise. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I, I didn't know that. Sorry to bother you, Angel. As you can see, this is a general store. I, I trade all kinds of items. But I can't do business, not anymore. Why not? Well, I had a treasure in this store. I, I thought of it as my guardian angel. It's a gilt bronze standing Buddha. An old, valuable treasure. But my daughter Arin stole it. That item protects this store. She. She knows how valuable it is. I bet she wanted to sell it at the market. I see. Tell me what I can do to help. Thank you, Angel. If you terrify the scavengers at the market, they'll tell you where it is. Terrify them? Yes, Angel. Please, bring back my gilt bronze standing Buddha. Please, I beg you. Fine. I'll see what I can do. I won't let this slide. How dare she? Welcome to Sister's Junk. Angel, you're back. 
Seems like we're seeing a lot of each other. Welcome. I apologize for the current state of the shop. Kaya, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you met a girl named Arin? Arin? I guess you've heard the story then. What story? About her and her father, Lyle. They were really close. They cared for each other, though they were financially struggling. But ever since Lyle got that standing Buddha, he changed. He considers it his guardian angel, and even believes that it embodies Mother's fear. Over time, his obsession grew stronger than ever. I guess that's why Arin decided to get rid of it for good. She asked me if there was a place to hide something, where it would never be found. <sighs> Seems like this is something personal. So, where is she? Scrap Plains. There's a building with a dome roof. People call it the Villa. It was built by strange drones. Nobody goes there. Perfect place to hide something. Okay, thanks. Hello, Angel. Hi, Kaya. Ha I'm doing all right, thanks to you. It would be nice if only my sister would come back soon. so often, Angel. Uh, Angel? What's the matter? Don't be shy, you can tell me. Well, thing is, obviously, I'm just Grateful you visit my shop, but I, um, I have a favor to ask. Go ahead. So, I know that retrieving that trunk was dangerous enough, but then this next job might be even scarier than that. It's about your sister, isn't that right? Yes. My sister and I were exploring the northern region of the Great Desert. A scary monster ambushed us. We ran away and then we got separated. I ran through the desert and headed straight back to Zion. After that day, Captain Man forbade us from ever going back to the Great Desert Angel. I'm telling you, my sister is alive. She's just lost, that's all. She just needs someone to help her find her way home. Could you go and find her for me, please? Kaya, that's... <sighs> fine. You said the northern region of the Great Desert, right? Yes, Angel. I'll be able to see my sister again. Thanks to you.
Network access code confirmed. For this data to really remain. I don't like it, but I guess a favor's a favor. this ransacking my shop for the tenth time I'm not selling anything to you yeah that's right you're an angel oh, why didn't I think of that before what is it do you know what's most important in this blasted city hmm. resources yes resources energy to be precise people like us don't dare siphon enough energy from the city the only way for us to do that would be to find something on our own to use. And the point is? There's an old distribution system in the Great Desert. A hypertube, was it? Anyway, it's not a place us folks can simply waltz into. One wrong move, and you'll never make it out alive. But something's definitely there. An energy source, like a fusion cell or hypercell, maybe. Angel, you can do it, right? You could retrieve the treasure from the Hypertube. You help me, I help you, and we help Zion. Do this, and we're all good. All good? <laughs> Looks to me like you're the only one coming out ahead here. Huh? Adam, it's not a half bad idea to go there. think of when I'd style them. I laid my st all I have left is the that's Perfect. You like what you see? You're the angel. You wouldn't know. You have everything. You, that's why you can continue with your mission without giving up. I do always doubt my ability to handle missions on my own. But it's what has to be done. That's what I have to do. That's why I don't That's you. right. Why are you talking like that? I'm a sinner. I abandoned my comrades to save myself. God, the nightmare still haunts me. 
The Matiba shot lightning everywhere. They went down one after another, like bowling pins, helpless. At that moment, I didn't care about the expedition or my comrades. I just hid in the shadows and ran back to Zion while the captain bought time. I'm a coward. Can't even avenge my comrades. That's enough. This has to do with Natibas, and I can't ignore that. Where was the expedition headed towards? The buried ruins in the Great Desert. A horrible place, full of sandstorms. All right. you to my humble storefront. I was just taking a look around the city. Huh. Uh, no, it's... Bye. Looks like there are many different... It's you, Angel. Now why would an angel visit the last gulf? I could ask you the same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. 
That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion. That place is the Devil's Lair. That's why there's lost treasure. Devil's Lair? Yes. The Devil's Lair. An underground chamber echoing with the roars of Natibas. I even got near the place to find my partner. But I turned back like a coward. After that, I couldn't possibly continue life as a scavenger. I can't stand idly by if Natibas are involved. I'll help. What? Why? There's nothing in it for you, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I just want to know if Tommy is alive. All I need you to do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. singing like usual well the thing is it's sue he hasn't come here recently i've also heard that he's seeing someone else do you do you think he will abandon me i don't think sue would do a thing like that please don't worry this might just be a misunderstanding where exactly did you hear this i heard it from Bo, one of sue's colleagues eve I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. brings an angel here. I heard that you've been saying some strange things about Sue. What? Oh, right. You probably heard that from Enya, didn't you? But I guess that's not that important. I haven't seen Sue at all for the past few days now. Sorry, Sue's abandoned his post. He's not the type to do something like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder what happened to him. I'll have to investigate these in the right order. Do you know who Sue was meeting up with without Enya's knowledge? I... I couldn't say for certain. They were far away. Ah, all right. This complicates things. Angel! Uh, the looters took my sister! Please save my younger sister! Where are the looters now? There! Down the alley! Uh, Wait right here!
Angel, Angel. Everyone's happy to call you the Angel just because you came from the colony. Aren't we humans just like you? Well? Why should we have to dig through garbage, cower and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? But, didn't you know? How could you not? All of you are actual angels. There are many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your bodies. And with a body as state of the art as yours? Need I say more? I gotta say, it'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. <laughs> Are you all right? Focus on me. Can you do that? Adam. These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. <sighs> this can't be. I've never seen this before. It looks like Nativas weren't all humans had to worry about. <sighs> Let's get you back to the safe house and do some maintenance. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52, after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account, Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light. Our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Spear was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Spear brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Ados, her self made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Ados, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me.
another sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? Lily. Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam, please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. Even seasoned scavengers get lost in the great desert. But we have a map now, so that isn't going to happen to us. There are definitely issues with this camp as well. Hmm. Seems as 
though there's a problem with the power supply. The trouble is that the solar tower is in the middle of that giant sandstorm. Hey, let's look for the sentinels around here. Maybe some of them will cooperate. Okay. What happened here? Civilization just turned into dust. Not all of it. That's why scavengers like me exist. Looking for screws in the desert. Well, it's a very common thing on Earth. Adam, over there. I see someone. What is he doing? Oh, it's Clyde. Well, I'll be damned. Didn't expect him to still be alive. There are some people who would prefer to wander instead of simply joining Zion. They always end up the same way. Well, mostly. That's... I already know what you're gonna say. If it would really make you feel better, you can try talking to him. Looks like it sank down very deep. But, this corpse doesn't look like it was attacked by an Atiba. No. It looks like he was attacked from behind with a blade while running away. Maybe...
Hey, you can't be out here like this. An Atiba might find you at any... Uh. What? Why is that so important to you? Hey, can you hear me? Check the tool for manual data. It's not a weapon. Perhaps it's a tool. For gathering, perhaps. It's elastic, but not very strong. And so thin. I'd be surprised if it didn't break. That's a surprise. Are all angels so insistently talented at everything they do? You're surprised? That's hardly something I'd expect someone sitting in a place like this to say. After the colony extinction took everything away, fishing was really all I had left. Ruined streams in the city, underground reservoirs, barren shores. I wandered all over the place. My trusty fishing rod in tow. Frankly, I think I'd already given up by then. That's... Well, that was practically a lifetime ago. I've been here for a while now. Feast your eyes. Water's clear. 
beautiful. The whole world's a dump. I can't think of a better place to spend one's time. Mother Spheres will be damned. I used to curse everything in sight. But if it was her will that led me to this place, I think I can live with that. You... I see. You've got quite a story. Everybody's got a story. World being how it is. Same for you, right? Now, I'm not one to make assumptions about the future plans of an angel. But come and see me again, if fishing interests you. Anyway. The weather at the oasis is exceptionally clear today. As carefree as ever, I see. So, what brings you here? I'm sure you've experienced it already. There's a lot more to fishing than just pure strength. The key is to pull the line in the opposite direction from the fish to tire it out. Is that so? Yeah. A fishing line will snap if you're not reeling right. Watch out for that. Well, you'll just have to keep on doing it. Give it a little time and you'll notice your skills improve. You'll have a much easier time fishing. All right. In my case, I always let the fish go in the end. Reeling them in is the fun part. I heard there's someone in Zion who seeks out particular fish for particular dishes. Ancient, maybe you should start thinking about how you want to handle things. I think that sounds like a good idea. To people in my line of work, information's everything. So, making a record of what's been caught to create that fishing codex, it wouldn't be an overstatement to say it's a fisherman's passion. I agree. To a certain extent. Sure. Anyway, Angel, I'm sure it'll more than prove your accomplishments as a fisherwoman. Perhaps that day will never come. However, if you do finish the Codex, I want to give you something called the Fisherman's Dream. As a reward. Okay. Well, that'll be something to look forward to. Fishing's a thing you can do in a whole bunch of places, but it's always helpful to know some good spots. Are you going to tell me about a good spot? Yes. Sometimes spots are closer than you think. Some of them right under your nose. I'm talking about the path that connects Zion and the wasteland. Look carefully between the cliff and the road. There should be a spot to cast your line. All right. I'll try that spot. so bad having someone visit the oasis.
sure. Are you okay? Something needs to be done. The damage is severe. Never mind. That's not important. I actually have a favor to ask of you. Tell me more. The captain thought the great desert sandstorms were an anomaly. Enough to warrant an investigation from our soldiers. Our wasteland storm squad was assigned the mission from searching the remains of the colony and looking through the archives and the ruins. We found out that it was a malfunction in the terraforming system that left the area barren and covered with sand. There's a tower to the south, uh, but the sandstorm is blocking the view from here. We used the service drones to restart the solar tower, to restart the flow of energy through the system. <coughs> Hey, let's get to healing first. It's all right. We got four service drones and made our way to the control tower. It was foolish of me not to expect some crazy Nativa to be there. It means that many of those under me were killed, and I barely escaped with my life. Angel, maybe you. The drones we collected before probably dumped somewhere near the tower. Activate all the drones, and get the tower up and running again. If you succeed, it will be a great kindness. My companions will finally be able to rest in peace. All right. I'll take care of it. You focus on your injuries. Thank you. 